Hello, and thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. In this video, I will tell you some fascinating information about the Bully Cutter dog breed. The Bully Cutter has a reputation for being scary, which is fair. Mastiffs that come from Pakistan are often called Pakistan Mastiffs. They are big, aggressive, and dangerous. Young men who want to look macho tend to wear them a lot. It's a lot like the English Bulldog, which is popular in England and other places. Still, the Bully Cutter is not a dog for people who are new to dogs or who are afraid of them. Bully Cutters were originally bred as hunting and guard dogs in Sindh, a state that is now split between Pakistan and India. Because of their size and aggression, they were often used as fighting dogs, which is still done illegally today. Even emperors liked and respected them. Akbar, the third great mole emperor, used bully cutters to hunt. Bully cutters are now mostly found in Pakistan, but you can still find them in India near the border. These dogs generally aren't very friendly, which is their main selling point. Although they can get along with humans they respect, they will attack other dogs, pets and strangers. This is not your typical family dog, as they are ferocious. On the other side, they make some of the best guard dogs. It's not easy training a bully cutter. This task is reserved for the well-experienced dog owner and or trainer. If you're a novice owner, then this is not the breed for you. They only listen to those they respect and are extremely hard to control. The bully cutter doesn't really shed because of their short coat. They require basic grooming that all dogs need, such as occasional toothbrushing, combing, bathing and nail clipping. Keep in mind that these are big energetic dogs, so it may be difficult to groom them by yourself. Professional assistance may be required. Having a bully cutter in an enclosed environment is not the greatest idea. This may drive them crazy and cause them to exhibit destructive behavior. They also prefer the heat and don't adapt well to cold temperatures. They need a lot of room to play and a lot of exercise to expend energy. What's bad about having a large energetic dog is that if you don't give it physical activity, they can really do some damage around the house. This is a synopsis of the bull cut a dog breed in its most basic form. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you may be among the first to know when I upload a new video. That helps a lot and is really appreciated.